Hold up, brother. Just back at you with this Bible. It's a word, man. Listen in, man. We've been doing this thing on Micah. On Malachi. Malachi, the second chapter. We'll deal with these priests. We're still on them. We're going to deal with all these fake priests. Everybody's lying through the Bible. Because the hypocrites going to have a problem, man. The hypocrites going to have a main problem when Christ gets back. Everything is transforming itself in America to a different state. Those brothers and sisters who have not paid attention, it's on your own head. The Lord sent some brothers up to come out and speak and blow this thing out in the street, man. This thing is transforming as we speak. The credit system, which is a main part of the infrastructure of America, is busting up, falling apart, man. Go finance a car. Finance a house. Oh, get along. Don't happen. Banks are doing bad. This whole institution is done. America is billions of dollars of deficit, and we got problems, man. You understand? Yeah. Now it's time for Christ. Now let's see what you want to know about Christ. Because these problems here, everybody don't know what to do, what, no answers. You know what they do? They start praying. <laughs> yeah. Let's, see, let's check this out. We're in Malachi, the second chapter. Pick this up from the seventh verse, man. Now everybody start to pray when trouble comes. But yet they didn't follow the Lord. They don't care too sad about the Lord. They got they, they, they deal lightly with him and call himself Baptist, Protestant, Episcopalian, or Lutheran. But none of these words are in the Bible, man. The Lord didn't tell nobody to join a religion and follow some madness or follow a bunch of lies. Show them what you got. Malachi 2 7. Malachi 2 and 7. Yes. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. The priest's lips should keep knowledge, man. The priest should have the understanding of what's going on in the earth. The priest should have the breakdown to how things go, man. The Lord gives that to the priest. That is sincere. Read it again. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. Right. And they should seek the Lord at, at his mouth. They should seek the Lord at the priest's mouth, man. This brother is supposed to understand. Jeremiah 15, 19, read on. For he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. He's the messenger of the Heavenly Father, man. He's the messenger in the Spirit of Christ. The priest is lips to, his lips to speak knowledge, man. But you got all these step fetching preachers now who call themselves Baptists and Protestants. What have they been teaching you? They've been teaching you to get out of debt. They show you how to get out of debt. You got all this debt built up and that debt built up. Creflo Dollar and uh, T.D. Jakes and these kind of guys, Eddie Long, Bishop Eddie Long, they show you how to get out of debt. You out of debt, but the whole country's in a massive amount of debt <laughs> that they can't get out of. <laughs> so now what? Now what? <laughs> you out of debt. You and your church, everybody in your church is out of debt. <laughs> but the whole country, they got debt they can't handle. <laughs> Maybe G.D. Jakes and, and Creflo Dollar and Eddie Long need to go talk to Congress <laughs> and show Congress how to get out of debt. <laughs> Read what you got, huh? <laughs> Malachi 2 and 8. Yes. Well, you Hold that. Read it. Jeremiah 15, 19. Yes. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, if thou return, then will I bring thee again. Then will we bring thee again. Return to the Heavenly Father. Let's come back to Christ. In sincerity, man. Everybody laughing around the earth and not paying attention to what's going on. Right. Listen, the fire is coming to America. Fire and brimstone is coming to America. Wake up and smell the coffee, man. It's in the Bible. Read it. Then will I bring thee again, and thou shalt stand before me. Right. And if thou take forth the precious, from the vial. Take forth the precious from the vial, man. Make a separation. Make a separation. Make a difference. Call it. Let it out. Who's wicked? Who's wicked and who's not? Let's get it to the letter, man. Let's understand it. Let's separate the precious from the vial. The things that are evil, we must call them evil, man. And stop being liars. Because the priest's lips should speak knowledge, man. They should seek the Lord in his mouth. I shall be as my mouth. Let them return unto thee, or return not thou unto them. Yeah, let them return unto thee. They're going to let them return unto us. Let them come to us, man. We're going to be at the Lord's mouth. Because we're not pulling no punches for nobody. We're not going to pull no punches when it comes by the word of the Lord, man. I, I was talking to the brother over here, brother I come up with, man, and ran with a lot of times years ago. And we had a lot of courage to do that madness we used to do, man. A lot of courage to go out here and be wicked. A lot of courage. Joe McKinnon stepped in, man. It was a problem, you know. You got courage to go to jail, do time, come back out, and be just as evil. But where's your courage to be right? 
Where's your courage to separate the precious from the foul? Where's your courage to stop doing evil, man? To make yourself different? Don't match up with the earth, man. Skip all these jokes that don't know Christ. Because fire brings Jones is coming to America, and everybody's going to be, their back is up against the wall. Everybody, their back is up against the wall. Everybody got an answer to this word. Read it out. Jeremiah 15 and 20. And I will make thee unto this people a fence, brazen wall. And you can't do nothing to the brothers that's speaking it. The most I gonna make is a fence, a brazen wall. And you can't knock us down, man. The Lord gonna bump us up, and you're gonna have to answer to this word. Read it. And they shall fight against thee. Right. But they shall not prevail They're against not thee. They're not gonna prevail, man. They're not gonna prevail because we got backup. It don't look like it's big, but we got backup, man. It's in the spirit, read it. For I am with thee to save thee and to deliver thee, saith the Lord. That's where this is at, man. Everybody gonna be looking for deliverance, man. Everybody gonna be looking for deliverance, man, real soon. Everybody. Then when the trouble comes to America, race war, man. It's gonna be race war coming to America, man. Race war. With all the races in America, it's gonna be race war in America. And there's gonna be a bunch of trouble. And we'll see who's gonna be caught. We're gonna be praying, oh, oh Lord, please, please, please. But you didn't do nothing to get prepared for this, man. We right here telling you about it. Jeremiah 15, 21. Right. And I will deliver thee out of the hand of the wicked. He said he's going to deliver us, man, out of the hand of the wicked. Because the wicked is the one that's going to try to shut us down. The wicked don't want to hear it, man. Because they're wicked. <laughs> they say, yo, them guys speaking right, man. We need to shut them down. They tell the truth, man. We need to block them up. Now them niggas are rising up, they're not niggas no more. They're Israelites. They're the Jews that the Bible talk about. And they're bringing the word out in truth and sincerity. And everybody got a problem with it, man. And everybody got a problem. Show what you got out. And I will redeem them out of the hand. Jeremiah 15, 21. Yes. And I will deliver thee out of the hand of the wicked. Right. And I will redeem thee out of the hand of the terrible. So we don't care about what nobody thinks. What they got to say, they see us come out, and yeah, we got some nice garbage on the stuff. This stuff is in the Bible, man. This stuff here, the Lord tells us to come out like this and blow at them, man. Let's blow at them. Read it out. Come back, show what you got. Malachi 2 and, two and 8. Come on. But you have departed out of the way. But you have departed out of the way, man. The priests, they departed out of the way, man. They don't even follow the Bible. Everybody got their own song. Everybody tune their own horn. They don't, even, they don't read the words of the Bible when they preach. They got a song of debt about something else. About debt. About credit debt. Credit cards. Or mortgages. All that garbage. What about salvation? What about living and never dying? Read it out. Malachi 2 and 8. We talk about living and never dying. That's the reward that Christ is giving up. Life eternal, man. 